tonight on What's Next, the key to space travel and complicated surgical procedures could be found in lemurs at Duke University. WNCN's Mike Gonzalez explains why this little primate is a metabolic miracle. Besides Madagascar, Duke University has the largest amount of lemurs in the entire world. And these lovable looking lemurs can tell us a lot about humans. Here is a primate and it's living at temperatures where there shouldn't be sleep. How do they survive without sleep? Out of hundreds of species of primates, the fat-tailed dwarf lemur is the closest genetic cousin to humans that can actually hibernate. Here at the Duke Lemur Center, scientists have been studying lemurs in their natural habitat for 48 years. The Duke Forest is home to about 250 lemurs from 23 different species, some who roam free in families on the enclosed grounds. This is one of the lemur families that lives out here on the 80 acres of natural habitat out here. Matt called them over with some auditory cues so they can get a little lunch. Duke researchers want to find out how some of the lemurs can regulate their body temperature, store massive amounts of energy, and sleep for up to seven months at a time, and that could have some major implications. Surgical procedures would be possible that are not possible now. We could exploit this for space travel perhaps. We could uh, induce artificial comas that were persistent. The potential value to this research is, is quite significant. During this extended sleep time, a lemur is able to go into what's called torpor, which is characterized by minimal brain activity, allowing the lemur to store massive amounts of fat for energy. It's incredibly crazy, yeah. They're essentially yo-yo dieting. They get really, really fat, and then when they go into hibernation, they basically stop eating that entire time. The research could also make a difference in our everyday lives, like faster recovery time from injury and a longer night's sleep for better health. And that's kind of a suspended animation that doesn't occur in, in primates very often. These are relatives of ours who do this and it, it's a fascinating uh, aspect. A fascinating aspect taking a big jump for science. For What's Next, I'm Mike Gonzalez, WNCN News. Seven months of sleep, I'd settle for seven hours. <laughs> exactly. I, didn't, I didn't realize there were so many lemurs, but if you would like to see the animals close up, there's lemur palooza this Friday. Visitors will be able to stroll through the area and view all the lemurs. There's also an adopt a lemur program to support the conservation work at Duke. Now to make reservations, you can go to our website, wncn.com, and look for this story.